All right, so let's do an example problem using u substitution to take an indefinite integral or an antiderivative. Uh, as a quick little pre-note here, if you're unfamiliar with the usefulness or procedure, uh, procedural steps for u substitution, I have a video on u substitution that will show up earlier on this integrals playlist on my channel for Calc 1 vids. So go ahead and check that out if you need a refresher, and if not, let's go ahead and get started. So. Uh, as a quick reminder here, I'm interested in the indefinite integral, which is the same thing as an anti as an antiderivative, which is I'm just going to take the indefinite integral of some function to some variable of integration, and I'm saying what this means is what function or what something, when I take its derivative, uh, is going to give me the integrand. It's going to give me what I'm looking for here. So that's our indefinite derivative. That's our, our antiderivative, our indefinite integral. I'm sorry, antiderivative. So that's what we're looking for here. So. What function do we want to use this for? Well, I want the indefinite integral of a first-degree rational polynomial function that contains a radical in the denominator. On the top, we're just going to have 2x plus 1. And on the bottom, we're going to have radical x plus 3. Well, I want to figure out what this is. And, of course, dx is going to be our <coughs> uh, variable of integration here. Well, what is this equal? We need to figure that out. So uh, I think substituting u is going to be a good idea. So let's go ahead. Let's uh, break this off from the side and so we can separate it here. Now, I need a u. I need to figure out what's going to be an appropriate u. Well, I, I don't like this radical down in the bottom, so let's go ahead and make that our u. But we have to be uh, careful here. U, I don't want u to equal... Uh, radical x plus 3, that's going to be too much of a pain. It's not really going to save us much work. So I think it's a good idea if we let u equal x plus 3, so that when we rewrite this, we're just going to come up with, if, this, if u equals x plus 3, we're going to come up with the indefinite integral of 2x plus 1 over radical u now evaluated at du. So if u is x plus 3, then we can just algebraically say that x is equal to u minus 3. Let me write this u, if I can actually write it perfect, u minus 3. So x is equal to u minus 3. That's going to be useful for us. So if x is equal to u minus 3, then by the same token, u is equal to x plus 3. And on the denominator of our new integral, which we're now evaluating uh, with u as our variable of integration, <clears throat> we're just going to have 2x plus 1 over radical u. Well, now we're going to need to write a new integral where we're replacing x with u minus 3. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is really equal to the indefinite integral of well, rad u still on our bottom, rad u, I'm sorry, rad u du, and then on the top we're going to have 2 times u minus 3 plus 1, right? Because we're replacing x with u minus 3. So, this is going to be equal to something. What is this going to be equal to? Well, we're going to get the indefinite integral of 2 times u minus 2 times negative 3 here. So we're just going to get 2u minus 6 plus 1 du all over square root of radical u. Or better yet, let's just write this now as u to the 1 half power. u to the half, because the square root, of course, is the same thing as u to the half. So now we need to continue uh, simplifying this. So if we get 2u minus 6 plus 1 over u to the 1 half, well, this is going to equal the, in, uh, the indefinite integral of 2u minus 5 over u to the 1 half du. which is going to be equal to, now we can break this up into uh, two separate things. We have a common denominator, right? So let's go ahead and break this up. This is equal to 2u 
over u to the one half minus five over u to the uh, u to the one half du. <clears throat> so all we've done is broken it up. And now that's going to be equal if we have 2u divided by u to the 1 half. Well, this is just going to be the indefinite integral, of this first part at least, of 2u to the 1 half over 5, uh, minus 5u to the 1 half. All this still, of course, du. <clears throat> so... Let's keep working here. Well, let's just go ahead and rewrite this. This is exactly the same thing as the indefinite integral of negative 3 radical u du, right? Same exact thing, no difference whatsoever. Let me rush write it a little better, if that's possible. u du. Okay, great. So... This is the same thing. Well, what can we do now? Well, let's just let's just factor out um, a constant. Uh, actually, you know what? Much better idea. Hang on. Let's redo this. <clears throat> Instead of that, let's make our lives even simpler. Let's just turn this into. Let's go. Let's go ahead and integrate. Well, what is what do we need to do to integrate? Well, we can just turn this two u to the one half that we have here. We can turn this into. Two thirds times two times u to the three halves all over three over two minus <clears throat> that would be well we're gonna have we're gonna be ending up multiplying that by two in a second so two times five u to the one half times five u to the one half all over one half. Okay, awesome, awesome. So let's cancel out our terms here that we're not going to end up needing. This three halves, one half is going to, three halves minus one half, all this we can just cancel. And so here's what we're going to end up with. We'll get our four thirds u to the three halves <clears throat> minus 10u. And all I'm doing right now is just some simple algebraic junk. 10u to the 1 half. Well, we've got that. Well, this is just going to equal. If we factor this, make it pretty, 4 thirds x plus 3, as we go and plug in our original u, right, what we did our substitution for, 4 thirds x plus 3 to the 3 halves minus, minus 10 x plus 3 to the one half. All right, fantastic. So here's what we've got is our final answer. So, eh, it's not that pretty, but it's our answer nonetheless. We have four thirds x plus three to the three halves minus ten times x plus three to the one half, and this was our u substituted integral or antiderivative of two x plus one over rad x plus 3 dx.